Hi, this video is for um, Arduino to Super Collider, and we're going to look at how to how we can communicate with our Arduino device. Here, I have a Pro Micro running with a uh, Super Collider. Last time, we looked at um, how to communicate with processing, and we made a multi-button uh, patch there. So this is the code that I have running on my Arduino right now, and it should you should have this from a previous video, and it's letting me allow me to have these three buttons connected through the serial port. So this time we're going to look at how to get serial, serial uh, information from our serial bus into SuperCollider in a usable form. And uh, again, that's just getting the data in as well, setting up the Arduino uh, within SuperCollider or setting up the serial bus, getting the data in and um, parsing it, you know, uh, with our headers and we put some of these headers in so we can identify which button was pushed and so we're going to learn to just split strings like we did in processing but this time with a slightly different uh, format within super collider so let's get started the first thing we need to find out is which device is um, our arduino or which port it's running on so if we use the serial dot list d e v i c e s i believe uh, that's list the serial port dot list devices. That will print out a list of all the devices. So we have the modem, PDA, whatever, and then we have this one. That's going to be our um, our actual Arduino. So we need to copy that text because we're going to actually put the whole path in to when we want to start the Arduino. Okay, so if I want to do that. Now, oh yes, and this also, this um, tutorial doing this requires that we, oops, I popped my camera, requires that we have installed the <coughs> the Arduino library, okay? So hopefully you have that installed. Let me focus that in a little bit. Hopefully you have that st installed properly. Um, and I, there was a video I showed you how to do that, okay? It's part of the quarks. So we're going to create a variable, and I'll just call my Eno, and I'm going to make it a, um, just look at the cheat sheet here, Arduino SMS, A-R-D-U-I-N-O, capital S-M-S. And it's looking for the port name, and that's that little bit of text that we copied from below in the post window. We just have to put them in double quotes, so I'll do that. And then it's looking for the baud rate, and 9600 is the baud rate which I created my code that's loaded onto the Arduino with. And that can be changed, it could be faster if you want. Um, now, okay, so then once I, uh, I evaluate that, you see here we have an Arduino SMS, so that's coming in now, and it sees, it opens up the serial port and it's reading the communication coming in from my Arduino board. All right, now in order to get um, do something an action on on data coming in so when data gets received through the serial port we can perform an action when that data comes in okay so we're just going to go i n o dot action let me again let me check my syntax yes lowercase action equals okay and then we'll write a function all right equals this function all right and the first argument that comes in, just like OSC defs, if you remember that, if you've gone through that, um, and a number of other things within Super Collider, the first argument will be the data coming in, the message coming in through our ser serial device. All right. So first thing we'll do is just post that message. So msg dot post ln. Okay. And then I'll evaluate that action. And so if I go through here and push the button, I should get uh, something coming in. Oh, I think my old one's running. Okay, sorry. Let me just recompile and I'll restart that and I'll send my action again. And then now I should get that message. So I'm getting the BT01 when I press the BT00 when I let release the button. And that's exactly what I should be getting, BT zero since I pressed the first button colon one and then when I release BT zero colon zero okay so that's great so that's what's coming in 
All right. Now the next part is, in fact, um, we're going to split it uh, just like we did in processing, okay? Because we're going to get rid of the colon and we're going to have each part of this into an array. So the BT0, the header in one in uh, array slot 0, and the number 1 in array slot 1, just so we can now sort by the header. All right, since we have three buttons this time. So let me create a variable, uh, the AR, and I'm going to call it um, A message. So like the array message or message array. Okay, and I'll say AMSG equals. Um, so I'm going to use this command very much like we did in processing called split. Okay, and the things I'm going to split is um, I'm going to split, sorry, dot split. So I have to say message, which is this here, MSG dot split. And then the thing we want to split by. Now, uh, as an escape character or a character that uh, lets you use whatever symbols, it's the dollar sign. Okay, so we'll put dollar sign colon. So dollar sign colon means, you know, it's not, colon isn't behaving normally in the code. It's just we're using that symbol colon on which to um, make the split. All right. And then let's print the A message. So now we're getting in the message. Then it's splitting that to, into an array called A message. And the array A message will contain two halves. A MSG, so A MSG zero will be equal to the BT zero side and you know a msg one will be equal to the the number like a one or a zero or a zero okay so let's yeah let's evaluate that and that'll just replace our action i'm going to go and press one of the buttons and you see it's an array it says bt zero one so my bt zero button is being pressed and then when i release it bt zero zero so that works out nicely now we're going to have to uh, parse through that array to sort through the different buttons so we know which button we pushed and then we can get its value okay and in order to do that we're just going to use some if statements and if statement syntax is slightly different in super collider than it is in processing so basically the syntax is if and then the whole if is within these uh these parentheses and then it's condition and then uh, comma and then a function if true and then a function if false okay and it is false oops okay so that's how the if works but a lot of times you don't have to have both true and false conditions so we're, we're not going to use the false condition okay and the condition is going to be if so and we'll make little headers here for each button so we'll have bt one okay so if now we're going to compare this a message in the zeroth the zeroth a message we're going to say if a msg zero equals bt1 okay and there's not that strange syntax as in processing where you have to use a different type of comparison we can just say is is equal to. So if it's equal to BT1, then we're going to sort through those messages that come in. If it is, if it is true, and then I give myself a little room here. I'll just put a couple hard returns there. And I'll say then um, AMSG1 dot post LN. So that means the data that comes with it, so whether it's a one or a zero, will just be posted there. Okay. So let's evaluate that. It works, and I'll press the button, and it's going to post. Oh, it's still posting this, so post line. Okay. And so I'm pressing button zero. Oops, sorry. Let me reevaluate that action. So I'm pressing button zero. Nothing's coming out. But if I press button one, it just prints the one. If I release it, it prints a zero. And if I press button three or button the two with button, nothing happens. Okay. So this is sorting for that key bt1 so let's uh let's create ones for each of the buttons and i'll just copy all of that put one for zero it was bt0 and equals bt0 
and it's still the same A message, 0, 1. It's just saying if it's BT0 or BT1 or BT2. Oops. Uh, that's okay. And then we'll be BT2. BT2. Okay. So this time, if I select all that and evaluate it, it should print my data for every button. You, there's nothing to distinguish it, so you'll just have to look at the photo and see that I'm pressing button one, zero, and then pressing button one, and a one is zero, and pressing button two. One is zero, two. And that's essentially it. Now, uh, later on when I apply these things directly to the projects, then you can see the usefulness. You know, Now you can sort out whether it's a one or zero. So you can do things like you know, have a further uh, if statement. You can say if one do this or if zero do that. Or you can have it be, for example, a gate for your synth. So you can just pass that one or zero to your synth and just have, say, you know, um, at, you know synth dot set uh, gate to the to a message one. I guess the one additional thing you'll have to do is dot as integer because it is coming in as a string, right? So uh, yeah, so essentially that's it. It's kind of short, it's tidy, and it does essentially the same thing we did in processing. It just goes through, starts a serial device in a lot, actually a lot less text, a lot less uh, complications to get that thing running, and then creates this action function and brings in whatever comes in with each message and then splits that header off and then compares for the header and leaves you the data. So you can react to whether it be button zero, one, or two, or any other device that you have on your um, plugged into your Arduino. So this is kind of going to be the framework that I'll use to get data in from my Arduino into Super Collider. Okay, so I hope that goes well for you, and good luck with it.